and it went like Dudes and dudettes, welcome back to the channel guys, and welcome back to the vlog. So, this video title I know is very unexpected, uh, for some of you at least, but it was premeditated, it's on purpose, it's been planned now for the past year, where I will be leaving YouTube for the foreseeable future, at least the next half year. All my content creation, vlogs, commentaries is now being directed toward short forms, so TikTok and IG Reels. So if you're not following me on those two platforms, make sure you do, my handles are down below. But uh, let me explain here, because I'm sure I caught some of you off guard with leaving YouTube and not posting about my life anymore on this platform. So let's rewind about two years or so. I had this idea when I was in Germany that I want to inspire the next generation of footballers in a way that no one's done before. To provide just massive value, massive education, and of course massive entertainment to you guys, where it will be easier to make a decision on whether you want to play in college or not. And even if you didn't play you know, college soccer and want to have you know, a college career, it would just provide massive entertainment for you to watch and learn from and listen and to hear different stories and to, to see different days. So I had this goal, this idea where I'd work with 10 Division I programs and uh, I would send them a camera, send them a GoPro, a few accessories and a memory card and they would film their day. Um, they would have a week to film a day's worth of content. So it was in essence a college soccer player's day in the life. I thought that was very unique, very different. It could help a lot of players decide whether choosing college soccer is the right choice for them. So. 10 schools films, and then uh, I thought I could do 10 more, so 10 more filmed. I set out more cameras, and I bought more cameras, of course. I ended up buying 30 GoPros to make the series um, a reality, and, uh, and I invested thousands of hours of my time to make this, uh, to make this happen. Uh, the hardest part was the DMs and just the phone calls and contacting compliance departments, contacting coaches, and then players, of course. Um, I learned a lot about myself and what I'm capable of through this series. Um, I also think this is the greatest marketing feat ever accomplished in American soccer history where one person partners with 60 plus men's division one programs to make a college soccer series happen. Um, no one's ever done that before that I've heard of. Um, so after two years I end up working with 60 division one programs to film a day in the life series that covers the entire American soccer system at the collegiate level. Um, it's something I'm extremely proud of. I hope you guys learn a lot from it. I um, hope you guys you know, are inspired to pursue your, your career at that level if you do want to play college soccer. And for others that may watch the series, they may decide that college soccer is not the right choice for them. And that's the whole point of the series is to help players have a clear, concise line of whether pursuing this game at the collegiate level is worth it or not. And of course, just entertainment for some of you that don't play soccer, that don't want to pursue this game at that level. But if you guys take something small or big away from the series, um, you know, I've done my job, the money was well spent. But some of you that are outsiders looking in are wondering why I spent 20 grand where I could have just invested in crypto or something and got a higher return. Why I invested that much money on a series where I'm making no money from it? Of course, there's some ads on it, but it's all going to be copyrighted because the music I use is copyrighted. But what's the point? Well, I guess from a longevity perspective, uh, I'm looking five, ten years in the future always. It's never just the here and now. It's looking long term. When the entirety of you soccer knows your name knows your channel, knows your brand and what you stand for and who shamelessly exposes the frauds and the fakes in this community, then you're ultimately going to create one of the best brands in youth soccer in the next decade. I don't care about the ad revenue, collaborations and partnerships. Everyone else can sell out and I'll see you in 10 years and take all the leverage. So that's my thinking guys. The money for me is not important. Um, it's just the value, the trust, the rapport that I'm getting from a series like this that's going to help me long term. So. Long term, short term, um, I think I have my priorities right, but maybe not. You guys can correct me down in the comments. But massive, massive thank you to everyone that uh, partook in the series. It was a massive collaboration with, again, 60 plus programs, coaches, players, and schools. I can't thank them all enough. Again, all my content creation when it comes to, to YouTube videos, the vlogs, the commentaries, will now be posted on TikTok and IG Reels. So make sure you follow me on there. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the series and uh, looking forward to seeing you very, very soon on YouTube. Deuces. Mm -hmm.